Hi guys, this is Lucas from Last Night's Blog and YouTube channel, and today I'm going to talk about Dale Town. Um, recently on Twitter, I've seen a lot of people be kind of angry with him wanting to trade the number one draft pick. People are like even saying that they will not be fans of the Panthers anymore. Uh, it's just so upset. But clearly Talon knows what he's doing with this franchise, and I am with him 100% if he wants to trade the number one pick, okay? Again, they want this young defenseman who they think, again, it, the, the the scouts and all that, I think he's really good, he's phenomenal, but he may be a bust. There's a lot of first-round draft picks, especially number one picks, that have been busts, you know? Um, and I think that probably will happen with this kid. And plus, again, with defensemen, it takes them several years to develop. Like Kulikov, I I, don't, I have a problem with him. He's just horrible, but he's still a young defenseman. I think next year he's going to blossom, especially if we can get a, a quality veteran defenseman that he can pair up with and improve his game. Because it didn't help with Jovanowski. It's not helping with Campbell. But I think if we can get another quality defenseman in here, he can definitely help Kulikov uh, with that. So again, if we can get, uh, again, my attitude is I want to win now. That's what Dale Talon does, wants to also. He wants to win now. But several Panther fans seem to think, oh, let's, 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 let's wait. You know, let's not make the playoffs for like another three more years because we want Eckbar because he think, we think he's going to be the savior for this franchise. Guys, I'm tired of not making the playoffs. You know how hard it is for me to see my home team make the playoffs year in and year out? Yeah, my favorite team is not. Like, I'm done. I'm done with not making the playoffs. I want to win now. I want to be in the playoffs next year and the year after, the year after, the year after that, and the year after that. You know, I want to make the playoffs like the Detroit Red Wings are making the playoffs. I want that streak. You know, I'm just... I'm tired of being having no hockey for my team after the regular season. It just sucks, you know. And Talon, I 100% agree, has to trade that number one pick. If we can get some quality guys, we could probably still get a number one pick for him. We could still get a number first round draft pick for uh, for the number one pick. I I I absolutely agree with what Talon wants to do, and I think he should do it. And speaking of talent, you know, he's made some phenomenal, phenomenal moves for this franchise. He's gotten us um, Pierre from uh, Chicago this year for just draft picks. And he's been absolutely phenomenal, Pierre. And he's only going to get even better uh, once this season continues. Uh, next season, oh, we got Quinn Howen from the draft, Hubido, uh, Pavlik. We also got um, Barkov, and he, and then uh, Nick Bustad. These guys are going to be absolute monsters for this franchise again. And when he's doing it the right way with this team, he's going to give this team what it needs: you know, stability. And we finally have that. We have an owner also that has, wants has that "I want to win now" attitude. And he's gonna be great, you know. He's got, finally talent has the money to be able to get these young, these veterans and spend whatever he wants this off season. I know it's not a great off season, and everyone's constantly talking about, oh, it's not a great off season. And we know there's nobody great out there. There's nobody available, and all this stuff. But again, look at the Boston Bruins. Who's their superstar? Do they have a superstar on that team? I'm still waiting, guys. I, I'm still waiting for you guys to tell me who the superstar on the Bruins are. Because they don't really have a superstar like a Crosby or a Ovechkin. Okay? They have all quality lines. They can run over four lines on a constant basis with no problem. And that's what I think Talon wants for this team. And I think he can bring that. Again, could Bukestad, could Barkov... Hubido end up being absolute superstars like the Crosbys and the Ovechkins. Maybe Barkov, maybe um, Bukestad, they could. Um, Hubido is going to be absolutely, uh, I think he's more of a playmaker 
uh, with the team. He's gonna get, you know, he's the, the guy that's gonna assist a, a lot on and stuff. So again, I have a lot of faith in talent. You guys need to have a lot of faith in him. He's going to get us a Stanley Cup within the next five years. I have absolute faith he will. Um, yeah, he's again, like I said, he finally has the means in which he can do things. He finally has the owner that wants to spend the money to be able to give him the money uh, to get the players that he wants. He finally has the tools, which he didn't have the first few years he was with his franchise. And again, you guys need to have faith. This thing is going to turn around. The only one that can do it is talent. And one other thing I want to add. Now, could any other GM that we've had in this franchise have accomplished to get Roberto Luongo here? Could they have? Okay, so again, guys, I'm still waiting for an answer. No, they couldn't. That's the power Talon has, okay? And with Roberto Luongo on, and and these the the free agents, they're gonna see like, okay, tell Talon serious. He really wants to build a winner, and he wants to build it now. And I think that's gonna draw some really key assets to this team in the free agency this year. And I think people are going to want to come to Florida because they know that talent wants to build a winner. You know, Viola wants to build a winner. They want to do it now. So again, for all you guys to say, oh, well, I want Eckbard. You know, I, I want this guy because he's going to be great for us. Okay, well, that's not going to happen because I don't want to wait. Talent doesn't want to wait. Viola doesn't want to wait. Several Panther fans do not want to wait Three years to be a contender. We want it now, and that's what Talon wants. So, uh, guys, I really appreciate you guys viewing my channel and this video. I really appreciate the love you guys have given me. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Share and comment. I comment back. Give, and uh, would you, and I also want to hear what you guys think about what Talon has done. I really would appreciate it. So, with that, see you guys later.